Hello folks, in my last video you might have seen me unboxing the Synology Distation DS212. Well I'm going to actually install some hard drives now and the hard drives I actually went for was the Seagate Barracuda 3TB drives, 3.5 uh, inch. Um, plenty of storage there, I thought I'd um, kind of max it out. Obviously this Distation can take up to two hard drives, so I'm going to be using two 3TB drives. I just unwrap this. There you go. There it is, three and a half inch drive. And like I said, I've got two of these. So let's put one off to the side. So all I have to do is push this lever and pull out the cradle, like so. And then we've got the cradle, and I can fit the hard drive. Like so, so goes in like that. I need to now screw it in. Now you actually get two sets of screws. You get these larger screws for ha larger hard drives, so three and a half inch hard drives like this one. And you get these smaller screws if you're um, putting in a 2.5 inch hard drive, like a laptop hard drive. If you're gonna connect the um, larger hard drives, you screw them in from the side. If it's going to be a laptop hard drive, a two and a half inch one, then it actually fits in here and you screw it in from the bottom with the smaller screws. So I definitely recommend going for a three and a half inch hard drive for your NAS over a two and a half inch. Uh, one, they're a lot cheaper. Two, you can get high capacities like this one's three terabyte. Um, I don't think you can get that in a laptop hard drive. Also, here this is 7 200 RPM, so it's, it's very quick hard drive for a mechanical, mechanical hard drive. Now this is a Seagate Barracuda and I've gone for this partly because it, it was because of the price, £130 each for these. I could have gone for a Western Digital model which were 3 terabyte as well, but you were talking £150, £160 maybe. So it were like £20-£30 more, so I thought, same set a bit of money and go for the Seagate. Hopefully they'll perform well and they'll um, last a long time. So now I've got the hard drive positioned, let's screw it into place. Now there's like a rubber um, section here which obviously helps with vibration and things like that. So that's really good. Last thing you want is your hard drive making extra noise and stuff. There you go there. There are the actual hard drives now screwed into the cradle. Um, it were a little bit fiddly because of the rubber sections. It were a bit hard to line the screws up. Um, you don't have to tighten up too tight, just enough so the hard drive doesn't want to move. And let's get installed into the Synology disk station. So as you can see there, I've got the disk station, and pretty simple to install. If you're not sure which way to line it up, just have a look inside and have a look for the connector at the bottom. And you can see the connector here, and um, just line it up basically, like so. Obviously, don't drop it in. Just slide it in slowly. Clips in place. There, hard drive one installed. Now this is a two bay um, disk station, you can get four bay disk stations which are generally a lot, a lot more expensive um, but you don't have to fit like say two hard drives in, into this, you can just have the one then you've got a spare bay for future upgrade if you choose to or like me you can max it out and put two hard drives in. So I'm going to quickly install the second hard drive. So that's the second hard drive in its cradle and again just look in the, into this NAS to make sure I line up the character correctly. So you want to go this way and just load it in. Now what's good about a device like this, it's really easy to get your hard drives out and replace them. Um, not an issue there. Now for some reason I seem to have two extra screws there. I think they must be just spares. Now I'm going to be doing obviously more coverage on this Synology Distation DS212. And also I'll give you my opinion on the Seagate Barracuda 3TB hard drives as well. And the next video I'm going to show you how, which sort of RAID configuration I'm going to have on these hard drives and also show you the Synology software. So be sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.